I'm going to be dealing with uh, two, uh, two words that we've spoken of in the past. One is unalienable, um, different ways to enunciate it, um, unalienable um, or alienable. I use the word alienable because the lien is in there. It's like a debt, a lien. Now, we have to um, understand that the world of the legal of Satan is got everything upside down. So when you take something that doesn't belong to you from the forbidden fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, taking not only title that we were told not to take from the legal world, you've made yourself uh, known as someone who now wants to take something that doesn't belong to them as foreign, and now you become the surety or the debtor for it because you really weren't party ever to that contract of legal title or citizenship. You assumed it and entered into deceit. So in the world of someone who stands with God as a Christian, not being part of the world, having separated, being private, not in that public forum of the satanic governments and their titles, you are unalienable because you can't be put into debt because of your Christian belief having blotted out all the debt from that former world. But if you operate in there, now to an, to an extent your Christian name gets absorbed in there along with that surname and they merge in together and then the other one basically is made you uh, absolutely the debtor in the arrangement because all they can see is mainly that legal position. You've actually entered into an unclean thing and therefore um, a man will reap what he sows. So we have to see this because we're dealing with the subject of idolatry. When you ask for one of these certificates, these birth certificates to be known as one of them that is foreign to the covenant of God, has no covenant with God, these nations, then you basically have brought yourself into idolatry. And so we'll be talking about that, this token of value, really called it, it's really a token of fraud. And this will be explained in the next few videos.